Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about how to survive in wintertime and walk around with nothing to worry about, and as if you were just basically waltzing around and having a good time. Now, how are we going to go around wintertime when it's freezing outside? Of course, I don't have it set to winter right now, but just for the sake of this video, to keep it a little bit easier for you to follow along, I'm just going to act like it is winter, so just imagine that we're freezing our buns off. Of course, there are a ton of apparel that we could use, like... As Wilson, I'm going to grow a giant beard if I want to make a cat cap and all these other things that are keep, going to keep me nice and toasty. For example, a beefalo hat. But if I don't actually have these things and you don't actually want to go through the process and you're stuck on the handy dandy thermal stone, well, let's just talk about ways to make it easier for us to walk around. So first things first, we're going to get our thermal stone nice and toasty and then we're going to get ourselves ready. And I'm going to showcase exactly how I pro how I go through the process of doing so. So walking around a world and don't starve together, you don't want to continue to go down and obviously you know cut down sorry uh set things on fire to get yourself warm again you want to have certain things pre-crafted if you watch my pre-craft video it does help a lot to actually get some things pre-crafted so here's a thermal stone almost toasty and ready to go it will eventually get to toast uh and, and nice and and orange but let's just imagine that it is so as our thermal stone gets over to the 60 threshold, we will see a change, or we should see a change in color if it ends up doing so, but it doesn't seem like it's going to. So anyways, imagine our thermal stone is now nice and toasty, and we're going to walk around with our thermal stone. We don't have to worry about our... We don't have to worry about obviously our temperature at this point, but as things start to kind of go a little bit colder and our thermal stone starts to lose its heat, well, what do we do? So before we even leave our base, or if you want to, if you have the ingredients, make sure that you have two logs and three grass and you're able to pre-craft a little campfire. At this point, essentially what you can do is when your thermal stone is about to run out and you're wandering around and around and around, as long as you have these resources in your backpack, you can continue to basically warm up next to the fire. And this is the easiest way to make sure that it happens. There are other ways like using a star collar staff and all those other things, but to let's be honest here, that's kind of a little bit late game to get that, that into it. And of course, there are other ways like obviously going through the process of burning down a tree. But... In my opinion, I don't think it's worth doing that because obviously things can start to happen. Now, keep in mind, yes, if I take a, a little tiny uh, campfire and I place it a little bit to, uh, too toast or too toast too close to a few things, I can end up toasting up some stuff accidentally. So just remember, campfire can accidentally set some things on fire. So you just want to be a little bit cautious about that. For example, if I set a little pedal close to the campfire, well, we might end up having some trouble in a few minutes. But nonetheless, having yourself with a pre-crafted uh, campfire is actually one of the best things. I don't think I would recommend using a fire pit because obviously those are more expensive and they use a lot of stuff, but obviously teach their own. So yes, pre-craft one of these things is a great way of keeping your thermal stone nice and toasty and then keep going and around and around and around. So essentially I like to keep a little bit of grass on me at all times and a little bit of wood and that just makes me happy wandering around and making sure that my th thermal stone uh, stays nice and warm and as do I. It also does help as at nighttime and dusk when I decide to take a little rest while my character eats or whatnot as well. So rather than just burning down the forest or using a, uh, a star collar staff, which could eventually just dissipate anyways, and also only has so many uses, why not just use a campfire that basically has no resources at all and you're perfectly fine and ready to go. So that's my recommendation. Pre-craft yourself a little campfire and walk around during winter. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.